Today on Who's That Legendary Lord? I'm going to throw another random lord into a randomized version of the Immortal Empires map, but this time, on top of having a random endgame crisis trigger between turns 1 and 100, I'm also going to be using 5 random mods and restricting myself to 3 random units. The only things that aren't randomized are the difficulty and the amount of psychological damage this challenge will inflict upon me. Those are both set to maximum pain. These mods add new factions, these mods add new units, and this mod is the only part of this challenge that makes my life slightly easier. And now, with these two additional factions here, it's time to choose a random lord. Oh, it accidentally- yeah, okay, even if I toggle this off, it can randomly select the minor factions. I'll do it until I get a major faction lord then. Katarin! I will take that. That is definitely not the worst option. Now, the random units here could be bad. Okay, Winged Lancers. I believe those are a tier 3 unit. They're a pretty good one at that. I can work with that. Armored Kossars Great Weapons. In my opinion, those are weaker than the Armored Kossars with shields, but I'll still take them. They're still not a terrible unit. They have good armor. Any variation of archers would be great. Kossar Spears. That's not the best. But that's one of the best. I would have loved some Ice Guard because we buffed them so much, but Kossar Spears are a very good unit. We are able to use two of the units of our starting army. That's very nice. Oh god. Oh, I'm gonna click it. Oh, I don't want to click it. We have such nice stuff here. All right, I'll take this. Yeah, Skaven here and here. The Hunts Marshal's Expedition here. I spawned right next to them in the last challenge too. We'll see who these Skaven are. They could be a problem, but overall I'm relatively happy with this. Oh, these are temperate islands. Ah, so it is unpleasant. It is unpleasant for us. We do have pleasant climates over here though, so I might just go this way. We start with two tier two settlements, which is very nice. Okay, so I need to build this up for both the armored Kossars and the Kossars with spears. Then the winged lancers are up here at tier 3. That's not bad. Okay, first I gotta get rid of all of you fuckers. And then the question is, where do I go and what do I do? I don't really know the answer to either of those because normally I'd always have that planned out beforehand, but this time obviously I can't. Oh, just a minor faction. Okay, they're weak too. They're really weak. That is great. I would like to steamroll as much as I can easily here, but then once I either meet allies or things that I can't really easily kill, I'll probably go back over here for the better territory. I'm fairly certain that we're safe attacking this. 99% of my commentary here was just screaming at the winged lancers because they're a super finicky low mass unit and their formation kept getting split up. Go, 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 fall out of movement orders. Holy fucking shit, we're moving at like five speed. We're moving so slow, we're not even moving at all. Just go. Their, their formation is just so fucked. Yes, actually good charge. Our formation is moving like a formation now rather than a bunch of random models and they're dead. Oh, we won that. I'm honestly surprised. I thought they would fight for much longer there. I am very interested to see longer term what happens with those new modded factions. They might just roll everything and completely destroy the map, or maybe they'll die immediately. I have no idea. What I do know for sure though is that late game, I don't want to fight the Skaven or the Dwarves, because they're both gonna have some crazy units. Poison Wind Globadiers are dangerous. Oh, they have a fucking assassin, actually. I'm actually gonna back off here and recruit. I couldn't recruit before, now I can recruit. Even if I lose this, I don't care too much. And we will upgrade this because I do want to get more of the Armored Kossars. They'll be our front line, and then these guys will be our back line. It's not really ideal because they're both hybrid units, but I'll, I'll take it. It's, it's close enough. Oh, beautiful. They're too cowardly to even take back their settlement. Oh my god. Ad time. If you enjoy tactical real-time combat, beautifully modernized retro graphics, and deciding what to eat for dinner, Unicorn Overlord was made for you. It has a massive world to explore, filled with dozens of potential companions, cities to be liberated, armies to be slain, and strategies to be tested. The storyline is really engaging, and there's tons of well-made cutscenes with great voice acting. Every aspect of the game has genuine depth for you to explore. Most importantly though, the the vibes are immaculate. The full game is set to have 40 to 50 hours of gameplay, but the best part is that there's a free demo that you can play right now on current or previous generation Xbox and PlayStation consoles as well as the Nintendo Switch. The demo is fairly long and it gives a great look at the game with zero strings attached, so I would genuinely recommend giving it a shot if you're at all interested. 
Progress from the demo carries over into the full launch, which is set for March 8th, but if you want, you can also pre-order it right now. Now, let's get back to... The Suffering. Oh shit! Okay, these are the Fimir. They're here as well. I don't know what they are. I'm not familiar with the mod, to be honest. I've used it, like, one time to just check it out real quick. I do think with our superior range, we kind of just shoot them and they die. Katarin might actually hit a thousand gold value from all these casts. Normally, that is not impressive, but against Skaven Slaves, that's about three million of them. So, pretty good. What the fuck happened here in the 15 seconds that I was looking away from this spot? Let me introduce you to... The Incident. Guard mode is a cool little feature that stops your units from chasing anyone that they've been ordered to attack to the ends of the fucking earth. There are some situations where it's good and some where it's bad, but the most important thing is to remember whether or not it's enabled. Unfortunately, I forgot. And that's why in the 30 seconds that I left these dipshits to shoot this unit of Globadiers, the Globadiers temporarily backed off, causing my units to move forward. The Globadiers then moved back to where they were previously and fucking massacred all six of my units that were now very conveniently blobbed up just inside of their limited range. I used all these guys as well as I could, which is not to say well, but they just had so much fucking rat meat in between me and winning that. My pain is immeasurable, but my day is not yet ruined. I think we can salvage this. I don't want to do it, man, but I think I have to. I don't want to just leave them here to eventually take more of my territory and shit. Okay, they are sallying out. That is great. Gonna go for a classic checkerboard formation here. Oh yeah, their lord's dead. That's awesome. Their lord is dead. We're gonna see if we can hit them with a rear charge penalty and just break them. Uh, we're gonna hit a... Actually, we don't even need to overcast it. They're already gone. Yeah, their leadership's just so low after their lord died. That's incredible. Yeah, killing that lord, we got really lucky with that. I didn't even intentionally kill him that early. He just kind of chose to die. Very Pyrrhic, but I don't believe I lost more than one unit. If these fucking rats are giving us this much difficulty, though, there is a genuine chance that I lose this campaign, I will say. Slightly Pyrrhic victory auto-resolve. I can beat them here, it's just gonna hurt. A lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I was a little too slow, only dodged half of it. Ugh, god damn it. I hate that ability. I think it's over now, but holy shit, they fought for so long. They fought for years, decades, centuries they were fucking fighting. These are the bravest Skaven who have ever existed. The fact that they're still on the fucking battlefield. Thank you! They fought for so long, and we lost so many units late into that fight, man. Literally, their lord alone with his fucking casts that are just impossible to dodge did half of the damage to us. The cost goes up by more than I'm getting additional fucking devotion here, so I don't really know what to do about that. I kind of have to build up devotion buildings, but I need other buildings. That's bad. I actually really don't benefit at all from having these ports. These three ports are genuinely fucking me over, because I don't need the income, I don't need the growth. What I need is this shit and recruitment. But I can either have this shit or recruitment, which is not good. <laughs> That's a terrible either or. I mean, if you just decide to kill me, I'm dead. There's no way around that, quite simply. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I have no choice but to do that. I'ma leave this whole shit behind. I'm done with it. I don't want to be here. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to be on this elven donut in this shit territory. Unpleasant climates. Minus 8% casualty replenishment. No, I want to go over here and I want to slaughter these minor factions and I want to make this my territory. Fuck this shit. I am out. I also will get a Patriarch as soon as possible. I am using heroes this campaign. I wasn't sure initially, but this one is fucking difficult enough that I kind of have to. I don't see an alternative if I'm gonna have any chance of winning this shit. This is really hard. Definitely top three difficult starts for me, ever. And I, I'm not sure if things are gonna get better because in the mid to late game I can only use some pretty mediocre units. Oh, we can already get heroes. I thought I needed to unlock this. Oh, this unlocks a slot for it. God damn it. I, I didn't... <laughs> I should have already been getting them. Oh, I'm real dumb. Six turns. Fucking hell, I could have already had an Ice Witch hero by now. I'm not gonna lie, it has been several months since I've played Kislev. So I will be making mistakes here, like forgetting that this is a thing. We are actually replenishing one troop. One single troop we're replenishing here. I should be able to encircle this, right? 
Yeah, I can just barely encircle that. Okay. That's a nice auto resolve right there. That's a great one. Good, good damage from these casts, man. Those melee units are not going to last very long here. We're concentrating our firepower way more effectively than they are, which is our biggest advantage here. You know, the fact that I have a brain and they literally don't. Very nice, very nice. They have one good unit plus a shitty lord. I'm just going to roll them really quick here. And by really quick, I mean this battle will take 45 minutes for sure. The, uh, the sieges this campaign have been some of the worst I've ever dealt with in the early game. That's brilliant. That is actually brilliant. They're going back and forth right on the fucking barricades so that I can't get to them. Ooh, the Banner of Swiftness will be very, very good for these guys. The Winged Lancers will benefit from that dramatically. Once again, I actually don't benefit that much from ports. I would rather have this than a port, but the port's just in the way there, so that sucks. If either of these two decide to attack me, I am very fucked. Oh, uh, there's so many things that could go wrong. There really are. These guys could end the campaign, man. I'm not gonna lie. They could actually fucking just murder me. Why? Why would you do that, you fucking dickhead? I need the order tied here. I need these two to be on my side. And because these two are friendly, they really like each other. I need to pay this. Okay, village is somewhere else. He just left. These guys are also just leaving. I don't know where they're going. I guess maybe the chaos guys are migrating to the south or something. This is going to be hard, but I believe we can win this. Come on, Sally out. Yes, there we go. Oh, I did forget about the wall bit. Did they have that before? They might have just gotten that. That's uh, quite a bit of extra strength there. That could turn the tides in their favor. I have most of my units facing this way to try and uh, concentrate our firepower a bit because most of them are coming down this way and I can slow down at least one group of them a lot here with these two abilities. What the fuck are they doing here? What is- they're just staring off the map. They're just casually gazing into this field here. We're not there, you motherfuckers. We're literally over here. The AI is just unfathomably strange sometimes. Uh, it does seem like these guys are dying a lot, which is good. I'll toss this right here, and then they'll just route off the battlefield. Uh, you can start moving up here, I think. Oh, we can kill their lord. Their lord is just very submissive and murderable right there, so I will uh, do that. Uh, I use these guys exclusively for routing the enemy, not for actually fighting for extended periods of time for quickly routing the enemy. I think half of the overall units that we've routed on their side has been due to the uh, fear on this one unit of ours. I don't know why the balance of power looked so close. It absolutely should not have. 80% of their overall army was dead. Our economy is going to be tighter than Tyrion's asshole, but I really do want to start building up a second army as soon as possible here. Also, we have minus 10% upkeep on all infantry in her army, which is really good. Well, that's free. That's very free. You don't even want military access, but you want to join my confederation. Oh shit, this is pretty built up good territory as well. Nice! A faction that I have seen zero times and will probably never see is willing to pay me 2400 gold for peace. I will take that. We can grab a couple patriarchs here, which is very good because they will dramatically increase our casualty replenishment. Patriarch of Kislev. Oh bro, they sound ridiculous. What the fuck was that? Oh, I don't have a siege attacker. Oopsies. <laughs> Okay, auto-resolve? Yes, auto-resolve. Beautiful. Not having to fight a settlement battle. I don't think they're near us, but that's still probably bad. Oh wait, Luther Harkin has this, so they're gonna have to take it from him. Okay, that's ridiculous. These guys have just decided to serve themselves up on a silver platter, so I'm gonna eat them now. They can't even back off, so it's just free. It's free real estate. And by real estate, I mean fucking corpses. Sorry, what? I was about to say that I'm gonna have to wait for them to sally out, and then it'll still be a tough battle, and then maybe I can win it. But I fucking auto-resolved that with no units lost? Most of their good units were the ones I could see, so that is part of it, but still. That's a really good auto-resolve. Okay, in... Actually, yeah, next turn we get this. That will be incredible for our leadership. That is so massive. We really need that with our units here. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. If it's a small, ah, oh, it's a small fucking settlement. I don't want to fight this, man. Yeah, I want to get rid of these fucking Kossar Spears anyways. So I'm, I'm just willing to do that. I actually benefit from losing those units. Oh, where the fuck did you come from, my man? Damn, that sucks. Oh, shit, nice. They only have three settlements left when before they had six. But I'll still take it, man. Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, full region. That's nice. Always love that. There's a lot of chaos shit here and here and down here. Oh, God. Ugh. Yeah, these are mostly hostile factions to me. There's no friends here in this whole area. Ah, they saw the ambush. I don't want to fight this, then. With the garrison, though, I can beat their ass if I have to. Wow, that was really bold of them. And by bold, I mean fucking stupid. This was a tough one, but we are winning this. 
Wait, what the fuck are you doing back there? <laughs> why why did they just have a unit all the way back here? It's a good unit too. That was a very effective battle. I don't know why they were that aggressive. They really should not have been. Okay, that's... Oh god, they have a second army too. That's a problem. I might be able to reach them. If I can, I can probably just beat the shit out of them. And I am still in good territory to replenish. Okay, perfect. Shield of Ice. Ward save 8% for the whole army. That is very good. Uh, yeah. I don't think I could win this one. Oh god. Oh, that's a problem too. He's gonna take that, isn't he? You are being very, very cringe. There's just so many different threats here. There's literally not meant to be this many factions that don't like you in this small of an area. It's gonna take me a while, but I am gonna eventually be able to clear these guys out. It's just really painful. Yep, destroyed. Okay, one faction completely down. And Nurgle's here. Nurgle's here. Because of course. Please, just stop. Defend the territory you've taken from me. They're making my job easy when it comes to wiping out their faction, but they're just doing maximum damage to me in the process. That is the most annoying thing that the AI can possibly do. Oh my god, they're just biting at my fucking heels. Oh, and then these sons of bitches too. At least they don't have the wall anymore, I can deal with them easily now. Oh, and we're on a Frostworm now, that's gonna be badass. These guys are gonna be a problem. Any chance? Oh my god. Why do I win that auto-resolve? Oh, they are just Marauders, that's why. They're, they're literally just Marauders, okay, fine. Don't care about losing the garrison as long as they are literally all dead. Oh my god, Devotion plus 27. Yes. The main way of getting Devotion is killing Chaos, especially like uh, Norska. We just haven't been near them, so <laughs> that's been a bit of a problem. Why would you... Oh, I didn't realize they could force march up there. These guys should die very effectively. They have a pretty shit army. We have, at this point, a pretty good army. Although I do want to get rid of these Khazar Spears and just replace them with more armored Khazars. The Khazar Spears really aren't good. They have no armor. Their health is terrible. Their melee stats are just a tiny, tiny little bit above any other archers. And as archers, they are worse than most other archers, so I've really grown to despise them quite a bit here. I've found them to be highly ineffective in all situations. Holy shit, that thing's gigantic! That- okay. That's, um, that's a little bit ridiculous that there's a throne that has, like, gyroscopic stabilization. Probably physically the goofiest model in this entire game. <laughs> Very cool looking unit though. I'm sure it's it's gonna be great, but that is that is fucking ridiculous. Land is power! Land is power is what people with lots of land and no power say. <laughs> the throne looks so ridiculous on it, but this is a really cool unit. Pretty good battle. Yep, you declare warp. Yep. We should be fine here. It's not like Malekith is very strong or anything like that. Oh actually he's on a chariot. What a fucking idiot! That makes him so much weaker in melee! If we beat Malekith's full health army when our army is at literally half HP, that means we're really, really strong now. Look at him! On his dorky little chariot. Meanwhile, Katarin's on a wingless fucking dragon! Yeah, I think we're gonna beat his ass. Immediately kill Malekith. He's the number one priority there. We'll toss- oh god, the Dark Shards. Oh god, the Dark Shards. Okay, the Dark Shards are the number one priority. Malekith is the number two priority. How are we still reasonably alive? Let me see what resistances we have here. Oh, we have 29% ward save, 5% physical resistance, plus 35% missile resist. That's why we're not immediately dead to these dark shards. That's cool. And we have the regen from this. So we are actually pretty okay here. Oh god, they just barely got this. Right as their lord died, they got murderous prowess. That is bad timing, man. Well, great timing for them. Bad timing for me. Okay, kill them. I yeah, they're done. They're done. Okay, that was closer than I would have liked. But not too close. We are fine here. Holy shit, the Golden Knight is strong. 2100 value. Katarin got a lot as well. Oh, they have another army. Okay, well that's... Oh, they have multiple other armies. That's not great. Oh, you're gonna attack that. You fucking dickhead. You just got peace with me. You just got peace with me. And I auto-resolve you. Go fuck yourself. You absolute dickheads. Come on, man. Very thin margins there. Like 243 HP left thin, but we did win that as well. If another fucking faction comes out of nowhere and attacks us, we might be fucked here. That would be really bad. Oh yeah, we got so much replenishment. That is awesome. Why the fuck do you have 30 armies of one dude each? You have two settlements. Why do you have 11 armies with one guy each? You do you, brother. You do you. Don't know what the fuck you is, but fine. Come on, bro. Come on, you little rat bastards. 
We're distracting two units here with this one unit. So I count that as a win. Oh, this is looking pretty good here. Second unit of trolls routed. They're leaving the battlefield the second they route. That's why we're on the edge. Uh, you're gonna fight them now, charging downhill into them. Very good, very good. That was actually tactically interesting. I find smaller battles like that much, much more interesting most of the time, because you have to use every unit optimally. Oh, what are they doing here? They're just moving up with their non-existent armies. Fine, go fuck yourself, fine. We have exactly zero gold now after building everything up. That's a little concerning. Oh my god, they used raised dead or somehow got these guys. Just kill the mortars, don't do anything else, just kill the mortars. One job, dervishes, you can do it. Just finish them off. They're at minus 42 leadership. Why are you still alive at minus 42 leadership? Holy shit, they don't want to crumble. My god, we're having to kill every last one of their models. Sometimes the undead, with the AI buffs, just refuse to ever rout. They actually fight with every single scrap of HP that they ever had. That was brutal, but we want it. They did not crumble at all there. That is crazy. And they're still just gonna be a pain in my ass here. They have more fucking units than they did before from Ray's dead, dude. Come on. Strength rank six now. We're getting strong. Ooh, actually, we have a good enough garrison here that unless they have lightning strike, and they definitely don't, their highest lord is uh, rank four there, we're better off being in the reinforcement range of this in Force March. Because then, we get the garrison here, which is a really good garrison to help us. I'll auto resolve that, because I can. I don't know why they would attack that. That was really dumb. You absolute bastard. They got way better units this time. They got better units by dying. The AI abusing that mechanic like that is really horribly annoying. One movement range left out of 115 there. Is it even worth chasing him down though? Yeah, no, he's so weak he can't even destroy my weakest settlements. I think I just leave him there. And then I just raid here and take this right away. Oh, it's the same fucking map I've already fought on 20 times. I'm just auto-resolving that. You want war, don't you? Of course you do. Beautiful. Then we should be able to take this as well. It might be a little tough, but once we do, they're pretty much gone. Finally, that was a very painful, very slow battle, and we lost quite a lot of units, but we did win it. Yeah, the Winged Lancers, not great in settlements. Or really in general, they're kind of mediocre. Well, <laughs> a lot less Winged Lancers now. More room for Armored Cossars, I guess. Yep, you are very annoying. Nagarond is way weaker now. They were way stronger than us, and now we've crushed them. I don't even know where you are. I don't even- I, have, I haven't seen you once. I don't know how I even discovered your faction, dude. You have a full fucking army now, man. Go fuck yourself. Great. Yeah, taking Sinch's territory should be very easy here. They don't have too much of it, and it's not well defended. Strength rank three! We've also taken 34 settlements at this point, which is pretty great. At least we can do this. That's great. I am not risking that. I am not fighting that for real. I think I probably win that in a real fight, but I'm not sure. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely going to be a tough one, but I just, I think we can trade so exceptionally well here to begin with. We get one good volley in, then we charge them, and then, can we overcast this yet? We can. Wait, let's see how much damage this spell does. I've never used this one before. Okay, 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 okay. God damn, god damn. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. 5k from one spell cast? <laughs> I, they're done. They're done. That one spell cast got 5,000 gold value. 42,000 damage. Good to know. Uh, Lore of Tempest. Damn, that shit's good! Yep, here they just die. The armored Cossars are so good in auto resolve, and the normal Cossars with spears are fucking terrible in auto resolve. Granted, they're also fucking terrible in actual battles, so it does kind of make sense. I have never seen this man before in my life. Oh my god, he can get a Thunder Barge! He must be added by that mod! Oh, dude, triangulation? Ammo plus 20%? Insane! Dude, this guy is awesome! And increased mobility! Oh my god! Katarin finally got the final buffs for these guys, and holy shit, those are some really ridiculous stats. These guys are unkillable. There's a good chance this will be the last turn of this campaign. I feel like we've reached a point where it is just a matter of more settlements, number go up. 
We are strength rank one outside of the endgame crisis, which is so far away from us that I just really don't want to go down there. We are well on our way to conquering the entire empire, but I really don't want to edit another 15 hours of footage. And you already know what's going to happen here. We all know what's going to happen here at this point. This campaign is officially unlosable. 600 supporters is just too many for a short victory condition. Overall, this has been a very fun, interesting, and initially very hard campaign. Uh, there were so many enemies in here. There still are so many enemies in here. Luckily, they're all on the back foot, but still, the RNG to have every single possible enemy all here with no allies in between them is crazy. And that is all for now. I think if I do another one of these challenges, I'll definitely do five random units. Three random units isn't enough to have much variety. I ended up mostly using two of them. Five units is enough that it will have some interesting variety while also being difficult. Thanks for watching. Peace out.